Hello the internet. It is Saturday the 7th of May 2016. I'm in the car driving to meet Gav. I'm picking Gav up at Southo. And then me and Gav are going to go down to um, Kalbara to Mom's Beach House where we've been just recently, where I've been just recently, and you guys were there as well. I've got to go down and install um, her ADSL connection. She's had no internet there for as long as she's been there. Might sound a bit sketchy, but I'm meeting Gav in Southo at the, the Liquorland car park. <laughs> yeah, it's you. I was just checking it wasn't someone else doing that sound. <laughs> Pretend we haven't said hello yet. Hey, man. Oh. Ben! <laughs> Is that it? That was a vlog, hello, I'd already said hello to him. Does that count? <laughs> Look at that. That was my acting skills to the forefront. It's right about now, I wish I wasn't driving. <clears throat> That's mum's house. Mum's not here this weekend, so it's just me and Gav. And Dee pulled out. He's um, feeling a... Feeling a sore back. I uh, feeling a sore gut actually. He's got gut problems. Doesn't sound great. So he's not making it. Let's get to the beach. I was only here like two weeks ago. Didn't think we'd be coming back this quick. Uh. Beer on the beach was fun. This is your ADSL modem, which I'm gonna connect. This is a brand new connection. You've sent all the kit out, you've labeled everything correctly. You just haven't done one thing made sure the connection works, which is kind of fundamental to using the connection. This flashing WAN light, it's gonna sit there flashing and I won't be able to use this connection until your technician comes and does something which you guys probably should have done initially instead of wasting the customer's time who's being billed from the 29th of the 4th. What is it now, the 5th, the 6th or the 7th of May? And we haven't got a connection here yet, you're billing us for it. Telstra, perfect. The issue is it's not connecting. It's pretty clear. Anyway, we're going around in circles here. We're going around in circles. I just want you to understand that you, you should not be billing us for a service that we're not getting. And I think you should have your technician escalated so that they can come out here and resolve this ASAP. Yeah, I'll put these notes again on your account regarding with the adjustments on your billing. Thank you. And this is another this is another 35 minute phone call to Telstra, which does not really make me that happy. You can understand my frustration, surely. Yeah, I really understand what you feel right now, and I really try to um, providing signals or giving connection at the moment, and it seems that it's not working at the moment. So, so sorry with that one as well. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I'll put a uh, note on your account for the adjustment and for the call back, automatic call back from our uh, second level. Alright, that sounds good. Thanks for your help. Alright, no worries. We'll apologize again and thank you so much for calling Nostra. Okay, thank, thank you. Bye-bye. I cannot stand dealing with these people. All I'm here for this weekend is to plug this thing in, grab their little passcode, change it to something that mum can recognize and set this wireless up. We've had this connection here since the 29th of the 4th. Da -da 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 -da, your new billing account, your order number, your yada yada yada, connection, connection of internet, set it up, we're using our instructions, go through all that. Yet when it doesn't make a physical connection to the ADSL, you're stuck. They wanna send out a technician, I'm pretty frustrated. I don't want to be frustrated. I want to just have a relaxing time. That intense mood doesn't last long with me. It's hard to be frustrated and angry in such a beautiful place like this. Gab's in enjoying his peace and solitude on the hill. Might give me a chance to uh, talk about NSD. Secrets in Scale. It's an Adelaide band. Um, how did I get interested in Secrets in Scale? No, 
I don't want to tell that story. But Secrets in Scale have changed their name. They're now called Electric Jesus. That's if they're still in even existence. I don't even know if they're still a band. They've been very quiet. They released, they did a sneaky, they released two EPs as Secrets in Scale. One of them for free, the other one was a few bucks. Then they swapped their name to Electric Jesus, combined both EPs and made an album, and that's the last I've heard of them. I'll show you some photos. <laughs> It's like get up and do some big walks in those national parks because yeah. hiking is not going to get much better, is it? Gab's still. talking about Canada. <clears throat> no, I wasn't. In two months, we're going to Canada. No, <laughs> I deny everything. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> you won't make it <laughs> Two months' time, we'll be in Canada trekking along, drinking whiskey, looking at huge mountains. <laughs> But right now we're just kicking back here and gives me an idea, a message in a bottle idea. There's an ocean right in front of me. I've got a bottle of rum that's empty, almost. And I plan on setting a message into the ocean. And I will tell you- AKA littering. Yeah, littering. Social science is what this is. But I will also tell you that a message in a bottle from a recent episode actually got found. Now, I'm not going to tell you any more because I'm going to go and meet the people that found it, but it, it happened. Someone found one of my messages, so that, that got me inspired. So I've written my note. Always write two pages, front and back. That way it's easy for someone to pick up and realize that there's only one page, front and back. So this note reads, Dearest stranger, hi! Exclamation mark. My name is Ben on Julius William Otto Kirpsch, and I make videos for YouTube. And every now and then I write messages on paper and put them into a bottle with the idea of throwing it into the ocean, hoping someone will find it. That's a long sentence. The idea is a little cliched, but not many people are doing it. I'm a little off center in general, and so I gravitate towards this kind of thing. If you... I reckon I'm getting taunted here. I reckon I'm getting taunted. If you happen to find this note, please, uppercase, get in touch with me via my YouTube channel. It's called Gives A Minute. You can find it by searching for Gives A Minute, smiley face. I let this bottle loose on the 7th of May 2016 from the part where from the part where the Crookhaven River meets the Tasman Sea. In brackets, my mother has a house in Kalbara. Close brackets. If you want to see the vlog where I launched, it is episode 40. Thanks a lot, exclamation mark, Ben on, XXX. And then we're, what we're going to do is we're going to walk. <laughs> we're going to take a walk see the sunset and I'm going to lob this into the ocean, into the Crookhaven River. Littering! The idea is to walk the length of the beach. Actually not the full length, just the half length. From where mum lives, up to the point, drink the rest of the beers. That sign is a bit misleading. It should say track you can walk on because the track is not moving. We're at a point now where A, we need more beer and B, stroke of luck, that's Greenwell Point there and this is the Crookhaven River and I'm going to do a message in a bottle. The tide's going out, the water's actually sucking in though. So this could end up anywhere. It could end up down there at Greenwell Point, who knows. I've already written my message, I've read it to you. I've brought a bottle here, Negrita Spiced Golden Rum. That's a lid. Where's my message? My message is here. I'm gonna put this in the bottle. I'm gonna get that off there for a... Get that out of there. <laughs> That's a big stick. We're gonna spend three weeks together in Canada. <laughs> Who's gonna annoy who <laughs> the most? We're cousins. We, this is, this is not a problem. That's not relevant. It's going in. <laughs> I wouldn't touch the lens. Now this is the part, I say, I say this every time, this is the part I hate doing, but it's the most essential part of a message in a bottle. 
cascading the bottle into the water. <laughs> Getting torted. I'm not gonna lob this as far as I can from here. Here it goes. So the next day, the ADSL still isn't working. They said that it possibly might, the technician might be able to do it, you know, in eight hours time. It's been well past eight hours. Telstra, you suck. Anyway, coffee and the ocean. Even though it's not really ocean weather, I'm definitely getting in there. Gav's wussing out. He's not really wussing out, he's just not going for a swim. Get my coffee. Feels funny putting a jumper on to then go down and take it off into your board shorts and have a swim. But it has, it's not warm, it's kind of cold. I don't have a GoPro anymore. My GoPro got stolen at Barangaroo. That's why I couldn't take anything in the water just now. I'm surprised how warm it was in there for April. May, we're in May now. This thing's still flashing. Still no internet connection. What is it now, 10 past 10. Telstra told me that between the hours of 7 and 9 a.m. this morning, a tech would ring me. I didn't get a phone call from Telstra. I didn't get any notification from Telstra. This thing is still sitting here without a connection. Mum, I'm really sorry. The whole point I came down here this weekend with Gav was to set this up for you and I'm gonna be leaving without it set up. You're not gonna be able to work out how to do this when you come back down. I'm really sorry about that, but it was Telstra's Omnis, not mine. Just as we're about to leave, we went outside to say one farewell to the beach and we happened to notice that there it looks like what would be a surfing comp going on there. And it looked to me as it was an all-women surfing comp. Off to the side of the surfing comp, there looks to be a bikini comp. So, we're not going right now. We're going down to that beach to hang out with bikini models in a bikini comp. Oh, that's um, we're out of time. Hey, thanks a lot for checking out Gives A Minute, my YouTube channel, the one you just watched. If you liked it, perhaps you'd like to check out the previous minute, a random minute, or even the very first minute. And if you're feeling generous, do me a solid. Subscribe. If you're a photographer, you might want to check out my Lightroom 6 presets and all the other social crap. That was a long pause. See ya.